how else would you get what looks exactly like a water washout? How else would those features yeah. be, be on the surface? It, it just looks like an insane amount of water literally yeah. washed over the area and smoothed it out. Yeah, I mean, there's huge, there's, there's a massive amount of evidence for massive, uh, for, for giant floods through the Nile Valley as well, not, not just across the Sahara. But, and they figured out that during the African humid period, which ended thousands of years before dynastic Egypt ever started, there was a branch of the river Nile called the Aramat branch that ran exactly where all of these valley temples are. So it's, it's like they were, it's almost, I mean, I just look at it and go, this was built, these were built for that water source because I think it's super, I'm very skeptical about the idea of these, all of these valley temples, particularly the one, the Giza Plateau being used as harbors for like a couple months a year to, to transport all these blocks from the quarry in Aswan. However, during the African humid period, which ended at the latest 6,000 BC, but stretches back thousands and thousands of years before that, that's when the Sahara was a savanna. You had river basins and lakes, like, like lakes and rivers. You had, you had it much more rainfall and it wasn't like a, it wasn't this flood situation. And it turns out all of these valley temples from these pyramid complexes are on its banks. And this end, this period ends and the, you get the desertification of the Sahara starting around 6,500, 6, 6,000 uh, BC.